What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Um, today we got new content, or I should say yesterday because this game, this is pre-recorded, just got home from work. And um, one car I'm going to talk about a lot is Lou Hudson, but because they already have a diamond reward one, so do not cop them. <laughs> so uh, we just got this free free agent pack from that, and we got 90 Brandon Roy. That's pretty solid. I'll take that. So let's get into it, man. I have not looked at the new content yet. Before we get into the video, drop a like, drop a sub, because we're giving away 10 KMT if the video hits 25 likes. So make sure you hit that sub button, that like button. We're on the grind every day. So um, here we go. We got 8 out of 16 for agent cards, whatever. So let's get into the new content. Here it is. It's the new legacy cards. And here it is. Um, we have the new pink diamond Sydney Moncrief. We're gonna we're pretty much in this episode. We're gonna talk about prices and what you should do. And then next episode, we're gonna show you what I'm gonna buy with the market crash and all that good stuff. So here it is. So there is a market crash. Stay tuned for that video a little bit later. So let's get into it. Sydney Moncrief's around 155k. Uh, this is the pink diamond in the set. Let's check out the stats. He's got a 79 free throw. I mean, 79 three, 892 mid. Post fades a 78, which isn't bad. His dunk's got to be good. 81 dunk. Honestly, dude, this card's all right. His defense is really good, though. Rebounding is actually pretty good. Athleticism is really good as well. Honestly, this card's not bad. I feel like for a pink diamond, he could definitely have a better three. He wasn't the best three point shooter, but. Mm. I mean, he could definitely get better stats for a pink diamond, but I'm with it. Um, the badges are actually low, too. That's kind of weird. Jerry Stackhouse got better badges. Um, pretty much looks like he's just a, a cheesing mid-range defensive player. Honestly, he's, he's pretty good. He's got catch and shoot. He doesn't got quick draw. He doesn't have really any shooting badges. He just seems like the guy to pull up for mid-range. He's like a small ball type of player, I would say. I would rate this card a 7 out of 10. It could definitely be a lot better. Maybe even a 6 out of 10. For a pink diamond, honestly, if you really have the MT to buy him, honestly, I would not buy this card. I have the MT to buy him, but I would not touch this card. And before we get into it, one thing that got me really pissed off. Um, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Okay, so earlier today they had 6 people in here. Now there's 5, so my bad. Uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, Shake and Bake posted a tweet about it. There was five mystery play uh, 6 mystery players this morning. Now there's only five, so I don't know. That's weird. But anyways, so we got the new City Moncrief. That's the pink diamond. Uh, we got a Lou Hudson. I mean, this card, in my opinion, is absolutely pointless. If you do not know, they have rewards. So we're going to compare these stats to the rewards. He's got a 91-3, a 95 mid. All right, his shooting stats are gorgeous. Post fade. I can't do a post fade. Driving dunk, 85. Passing is great. Defense is not good at all, especially for a diamond. Definitely not good. Um, speed's 88. Okay, he's not bad. Let's check out his badges. 31 golds. He's got more badges than Moncrief. So maybe this card isn't too bad. Let's check out. Does he have quick draw, green, whatever it's called? Green machine, I think it's called. He's got no quick draw. Does he have quick draw? Space or green machine. He does have quick draw. So this card's interesting, but now... I want to check out this card right here um, real quick Lou Hudson diamond like they have a 94 Lou Hudson a 93 Lou Hudson and now they have another diamond in my opinion so dumb so realistically this card is so similar honestly if you have the tokens and you want Lou Hudson just go get the token one bro it's the same BS let's see his stats 29 gold badges it's the same thing let's see does he have quick draw on this one with green machine let's see he does not agree. All right. So maybe the one with MT is better, but who really is going to spend that MT on him? So, so far, I rate that card a 5 out of 10 because they have the free one. We got Diamond Willis Reed. He's so short. I don't know what's good with this game right now. If you haven't noticed, they've been dropping a ton of short centers. You could put them at power forward, but let's check the stats. 85 post fade, 94 post hook, 92 mid, 54 three. We're going to go over these stats quick just so we get into pricing. So... 92 block, 78 steal. Rebounding's great. All right, he's actually not bad. He's a, I'll put him at power form. If you put him at center, you're crazy. So his post, really good. I'm just going to go over the badges quickly. If you guys did not see the content, because I know I'm a day late on the content. But here's the badges. Looks like just 
post defensive player pretty much just a, just an og center um now we got this dude i'm pretty sure he could shoot i had him last year as a reward yeah he can shoot um he's got good post too decent dunk good decent passing perimeter d oh his defense is trash oh boards i would put him at small maybe power if you're really feeling it looking decent rudy something i don't even know how to say his name whatever he's really cheap uh jerry sloan this is old xavier mcdaniel this is new i'm pretty sure he's actually really good let's check out these stats three points decent his diamond three points probably amazing post fade decent mid-range good dunks amazing handles good block steel decent perimeter d and eh. all right he's not bad his diamond he's an evolved card looks interesting got 25 gold badges this card could be really decent, honestly. I might have to pick up this card, get a little gameplay action. He's probably going to be the more expensive Amethyst, like really expensive Amethyst. He's probably hard to pull, too. Uh, we got Junior Bridgman. He's old. Jones is old. Rick Schmitz is old. Luke Walton. That's new. We got a Ruby Luke Walton. There's, it's probably going to be... Wait, Luke Walton. I'm thinking of Bill Walton. I don't even know who Luke Walton is. Uh, so he's a shooter, it looks like. He could dunk somewhat. Passing's decent. Defense is trash. He can even rebound. He's all right. He's a power forward, though. Uh, I would say small forward. How tall? 6'8". Uh, he's all right. Not a bad budget card. Maybe we'll get a gameplay with him in, too. Uh, is that it? That's all they got? That's all the new content? So, Nick Anderson's old. Oh, look, we have a new Ruby Nick Anderson, which is a Sapphire Reward one. As you guys know, Nick Anderson's a shooter. And he can dunk, kind of. Not really. Defense has always been atrocious. He's a shooter. I wonder if he's got green stuff. Oh, quick draw. Yeah, he's good. He's a great shooter. Um, so pretty much new content. I rated a 6 out of 10. I don't think it's that good, but let's get into pricing. So let's check out all the prices. First, we're not even going to look at Sidney Moncrief. He's going to be around 150K like usual. So we're just going to go Amethyst. Oh my God. What was the card? Xavier McDaniel. Let's see. So Xavier McDaniel is running around... Probably, I would say, 70-ish, 80K. Wow. So now, listen, if you guys really want this card, I would not drop the 80K. Just wait. You maybe could get a snipe on him, but 80K is way too much for any Amethyst, even if you have the time to evolve him. 80K is too much. He's not... Like, nah. Just wait. Honestly, that's a terrible buy, in my opinion. Do not buy him. Let's check out the Lou Hudson. Lou Hudson. Uh, let's see... Lou Hudson daddy. He's probably not that expensive. Maybe we could snipe one out in the video. That'd be kind of cool. So, so far, Xavier McDaniel's not a buy. Lou Hudson, I would not say he's a buy because you guys are all going to get to the rewards at some point of the year. And realistically, if you're going to drop, what, 60K, 50 something K, yeah, 60K on him, it's not worth it. Stats are really good, but dude, I don't really like Lou Hudson. Small forward shooting guard. I'll play my shooting guard. He's 6'5. So, eh, he's all right. Who else is in this damn collection? I forgot. Uh, let's see. We got Lou Hudson, Willie Reed. All right, we'll check out Reed, and we'll check out whatever that dude's name is. So, Willie Reed, honestly, I kind of want to pick him up. I am a Knicks fan, but I am also somewhat a Bucks fan just because of Giannis. I've been a Giannis fan since he, since literally, I, I, I'm Greek, so I'm just a Giannis fan, yo. Uh, I love all the Antetokounmpo brothers, bro. If you never saw my Antetokounmpo gameplay, go check that out. Dude, this Willis Reed is really cheap, and it looks like I'm going to buy him. If we could get a good price on him, 40 k If I get him for 35 k he's pretty cheap. Honestly, not a bad buy. If you buy him and hold on to him, it's definitely not a bad buy at all. Um, Honestly, he, he's a beast in the post. He's got rebounding. Some power forwards in this game. I think the power forward position is kind of weak, unless you got like Chris Webber and Sean Kemp. But Sean Kemp plays like crap. I don't know if he plays like crap for you guys, but... He gets outboarded by bronzes, bro. So, yeah, not a bad price to buy Reed. And we'll look at the last card. All the Rubies are going to be cheap. You guys know the deal. We'll look at the, my boy Rudy Tom Janovich, whatever the heck his name is. So, yeah, he's cheap. Pretty much the Amis, besides Daniel, like Rudy is going to be really cheap. Maybe even under 10K. If you guys could get him under 10K and you wait a little bit, sell him later on. That's a dub because he's going to go up in value once these packs are gone. So, Honestly, his stats are pretty good. I might pick him up. If we get a little snipe action right here, we'll 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 try him out. We'll get a little gameplay action. 
So he's running around 11-ish, 11-ish, 11, 10, 9 maybe? Oh, 10K. We'll pick that up. Oh, man, we missed it. All right, so 10K, he's about 11-something. He's really good, honestly. I recommend that car. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Honestly, the only car I buy is the Rudy and the Reed. Stay away from every other card. But anyways, guys, that's all I got. If you pick up those cards, honestly, you're going to make MT in the long run. Pick them up now. The Reed and the Rudy. Everything else stay away from. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.